Morning Tokyo. I'm Cynthia Walker on Tokyo News Network. Today we will begin with breaking news. The Far East American school system is limiting how many academic and athletic events students are allowed to participate per semester. This impacts nearly 24,000 students across the Pacific. Let's go to Nate Elking for more. Thanks, Cynthia. The superintendent for Far East American school systems has just released some new regulations regarding to Far East activities. Let's have a look. Beginning this academic year, 2012-2013, students will be allowed to travel to one athletic or one academic Far East per semester. Mr. Pazivovishki followed the superintendent reinforcing her decision. We have had teachers and we are working with the Teacher Association. Teachers have complained that students are out of school too much, that they simply are not getting the education they deserve and their test scores have dropped. The board's decision, however, was met with criticism. I don't know where they got that data from, but everything that I've seen speaks totally to the opposite. The FEA SS student scores have decreased over the past five years. That's true. Technically, there's been three decreases in the past five years. But through our research, we discovered that the student scores have shot up by a stunning 7%. Participation in athletics in particular, especially on a winning program, gives kids incentive to want to do better in the classroom. The AP scores have decreased, just as the FEA SS has been insisting. However, the scores from the past two years are the highest they've been in the past five. Nate Elking, Tokyo News Network. Thank you, Nate. Our feature today is on one of the most popular locations in Tokyo, the Shibuya District. Simply put, Shibuya is stunning. Its crossing is a scramble of humanity heading in every direction. Kind of reminds you of Times Square in New York City. However, not everyone is rushing through Shibuya. Some pause to admire the statue of Hachiko, a dog with undying love for his master. The legend says, Hachiko waited at Shibuya Station every day for his master to return from work. Unfortunately, his master died from a stroke, but Hachiko continued to show up at the station. But something else catches the eyes and ears of passing pedestrians. Empty Craft is a band that formed just over a year ago. My name is Masae. I play the bass. My name is Sho Hino. What, what do you play? Dancer. My name is Kyosuke. What do you play? You play saxophone? Yeah, I play saxophone. How did you meet? Uh, we have a session, jam session. What about your name? Your name is Empty Craft? Yes, Empty Craft. See? See? Empty Craft. Make up many ideas from empty. They like. start their performance quickly because they have a limited amount of time. Our cameras even caught a Tokyo police officer evicting the band right as the music forms a crowd. Even though the police shut them down, they will still return tomorrow and the next day because they love to perform. Masai said the reason they get evicted is because they don't have a permit to play on the streets. Now, we'll take a short break for our series of what to watch out for in Tokyo. And for our ongoing series about life in Tokyo, traffic in the street is not the only traffic around. Bicycling is also a very big issue. If you're walking down the street, try to avoid walking in the center and walk on the side of the sidewalk. You don't want to block the bikers or run into them while you're walking. If you're driving around Tokyo, or anywhere in Japan for that matter, watch out for the bikers because they do have their right away. And we're back. Let's take a quick look at the latest sports updates. The Yakota Panthers football team have a remarkable record of seven wins and no losses. They currently hold first place. The Kubasaki Dragons come in second with a record of five wins and one loss. The Seoul American Falcons represent South Korea with two wins and four losses. For our volleyball teams, the Kinnick Red Devils are rocking Japan with a record of eight wins and no losses. Kubasaki Dragons hold first place in Okinawa with seven wins. And the Seoul American Falcons hold first place in South Korea with eight wins. The Far East Division I Volleyball Championships will determine the best team. Moving on now, TNN reporter Nate Elking got an interview with Stars and Stripes about a shocking incident in Pakistan. Let's go to Nate. 
Hey, I'm here with Sam Emron, the Deputy Managing Editor for the Stars and Stripes. So Malala Yousafzai, a 14-year-old girl in Pakistan, was attacked by Taliban forces for encouraging women's education or influencing Western culture, as the Taliban put it. Now, can you give us the Stars and Stripes take on the story? Well, I think that like any, uh, anybody else in the world, I think that the, anybody's take would be that they're uh, offended that this has happened, that the Taliban uh, felt so threatened by a 14-year-old girl who was advocating uh, for the education of girls and women in, 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 a, in the countries in the Middle East, in places like Pakistan and Afghanistan, that, um, it, you know, it's, it's just a, a travesty that something like this would happen. So the Pakistan government is helping out? I think everybody's helping at this point, uh, you know, other than the Taliban who have come out and, and you know, claimed responsibility and, and said that they, they did this because they're against the education of women in that area, that um, everybody from the Pakistan government, I believe that they uh, detained more than 200 people um, before, as part of their investigation, everybody from the, from the bus driver who was, the person who was driving the bus, to question them for their possible role in this. And so I think the entire international community is behind uh, Malayla at this point. Do you think she'll have a major influence on women's rights in Muslim culture? I think that she's had a, a, an influence because she's a 14-year-old and that she's done these, uh, she's been such an outspoken uh, proponent of education for, for girls that I think as, as, uh, as bad as it sounds, probably her being shot by the Taliban will make her even that much more of a prominent figure and therefore the words that she had written before will carry much more weight now. Thank you, Mr. Amaran. We'll keep checking in on the Stars and Stripes as the story unfolds. Thank you. And that's all for today. I'm Cynthia Walker reporting live from Tokyo News Network.